Ken Yella versus FYB j -Man. I've been getting this DM message a lot lately. Who do I think is going to win that fight? And I can't say, man. I really can't say because, honestly, j -Man is in the weight class lower than Yella. But even though Yella's a bigger guy, taller stature, I think Yella's probably a little bit rusty. They both need to get in the gym and train and see what comes out of it because I don't think either one of them is at uh, professional boxing level right now. But a deeper dive is why do you have to fight in the first place? Uh, they should be able to resolve this with a phone call or meet up or some kind of, some kind of other situation that doesn't involve anybody's eye getting blacked or anybody getting damaged. Um, you can get permanently damaged from a boxing match. Uh, you get hit the right way. Um, so it's it's not my. You know, in my opinion, this is not the way to do it. But in my opinion, this is the way to do it from a marketing standpoint. It's going to elevate their names. It's going to elevate their status. They may get other uh, celebrity boxing match opportunities. They may get sponsors. And then they're definitely going to raise a lot of buzz around their brands and their YouTubes and their following. So that's the pro of it. The con of it is, man, you guys have been locked in for a decade or however long, six, seven, eight years. And um, you guys should be able to come to an agreement without fighting each other. But if this was going to take, hey, go ahead and do it. Put it to all your issues to the side and uh, move on. JP Beats. <laughs>